Anne. And we are Fruit Katoons. Katoons. Welcome back to our channel. Part two. In part one, we decluttered our rooms, which if you haven't seen that yet, you have to check it out before you come back to this video. And in this video, we are organizing our rooms. It's a massive transformation. This method has made a difference in our lives and we hope it's gonna make one in yours as well. I can't believe I thought what my room was was like, okay. Yeah, like on the surface, beautiful, especially when guests come over. But underneath, whoo, iceberg moment, yeah, mess. Guys, the transformation is so worth it. So worth it. So make sure you wait till the end to see our amazing transformation. All right, let's get on with organizing our rooms. But before we do that, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to click that gray bell next to our subscribe button so you are notified every single time we post. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we literally post on there every day. It's getting old, isn't it? I'm so excited for part two. I'm s I'm so excited for this has got to be the Charlie. This has got to be the most exciting part of this process because you actually see results. The first step of today, I just want to get all my clothes folded properly. Like there's a specific way you should be folding your clothes. Yes, inspired by Con Marie, but at the same time, I feel like as you go, you kind of develop your own folding style. As long as they look neat and nice, you can see everything in your drawer. That is the idea. So let's start. Let's get folding. All right, so what I've discovered is the KonMari method way of folding is basically folding into squares rather than like I usually fold, which would be this weird shape with like sleeves hanging out. I fold it halfway and this half into the middle, other half meets in the middle and then fold it down just like that. And it sits in your drawer like that. Pants are really simple. All you have to do is fold in the crutch then fold halfway. And then of course do the three folds. And with tops that are a little bit more oddly shaped, you kind of just improvise. Just want to show you guys the drawer organizers that I picked up from IKEA yesterday. So these just sit inside your drawer so that you can separate your clothes. <laughs> This is actually life changing. Okay guys, I'm finally finished folding all of my tops. As you can see, these drawer organizers are pretty amazing. Look at that. That looks so good, if I must say so. This is the second one that's going in, which fits perfectly. Like, I feel like my room will never be as untidy as it was ever again, because now I know how to do it properly. I've finally finished my tops drawer. Sam has conveniently come at the right time because she's gonna see it for the first time as well. Whoa! <gasps> Color coordination, that is so cool. This is insane. That is amazing. I'd like to see it like that next week. <laughs> I give it a week tops. <laughs> the mess surrounding the drawers guys to be honest guys I haven't got very far since I last spoke to you I've been procrastinating quite a lot but I'm really sick of living in mess so I really need to get this done today's the day okay so this used to be my pajama drawer but now it's changed into my hoodies my jumpers and then my trackies drawer so I have decided to put my tracky pants and all my hoodies in the same drawer that Sam decided to put hers in under her bed. Twins! When I bought my Alex drawers from Ikea, I never actually knew that you could get like inserts to help you have an organized drawer. Literally for four years, I've just been struggling over here. I went and bought all of these containers so I could put these in my Alex drawers and have more organization. These are the inserts I'm going to put inside the Alex drawers. Plus these also go inside the Alex drawers. They come in a set of seven, so they're just like little boxes that you put in your drawer. These fit in, also these. And then my mom actually found these in Kmart, guys. This is amazing, it's got slots for everything. So I can put necklaces, earrings. I hope I can move one of these so I can make bigger slots, but we'll see. Wow guys, I just saw Tegan's room. Fancy! Oh my gosh! I gotta go do mine. 
Her Alex drawers look so professionally done. Like, I hope I bought enough of those, like, those organizer things because they work really well. I can't wait. Guys, look at all this cool stuff I'm finding. This thing that all my friends signed when I turned 18. And my old camera. This was, like, the best thing ever. I was obsessed with this pink camera. These are all the iPhones that I've owned over the years. Pretty cool. They're still in the box. They're all in there, except for one, because I sold that to a friend of mine. How cool is that? This drawer is a nightmare. This was my very first smartphone, and I bedazzled it. I believe these are all from like special birthdays. This one says, Happy Christmas, Ron. If you buy this from Kmart, you can actually take this bad boy out. Oh, try not to break the box. Oh, and then now I can fit either necklaces or bigger earrings in these slots. Party! I still have this bear that my mum got me when I went into hospital to have surgery on my leg. If you haven't seen that video that we posted a couple of years ago, check it out. Put an eye button here, Sam so they can check it out. If you have a small room like me, hooks on the back of the door are so handy. Yes, they can get a bit cluttered like mine, but it's behind the door, no one sees it, right? Dressing gown, if you haven't got one, get one. Wait till you see my new wardrobe. I picked these up from Ikea, and look how cool they look. Like when you open my door, that's all you're gonna kinda see. The boxes just make it nice and neat. I have way too many shoes for obviously that amount of space. So I got these shoe fillers. So basically they come flat, just do this, zip it up at the bottom and voila. So instead of having your shoes like on display and looking a bit messy, you just tuck them away in here, get a couple of these, line them up and all of a sudden your shoe closet or where you keep your shoes looks nice and tidy. I actually managed to fit four pairs of heels in one box. Super convenient, neat, tidy, and I just love the idea. Charlie likes them too, guys. Who introduced you to these, Sam? You did. Amazing! That legit took me an hour. I put it in preference order of like favorite shoes I wear all the time. Sorry to interrupt guys, I'm going for a run and see this is why I don't get things done because I'm like, oh my gosh, run time, bye! So yeah, it looks so much neater. And now I don't have random shoes like on the floor because they can't fit in my cupboard. Thumbs up this video if you think these are a great idea. Guys, I've just completed another box. It's my colorful crop tops and I'll just show you how it turned out. Hey guys, so it's another day and I've decided to get rid of my big silver mirror because I literally never use it and it's just taking up unnecessary space because my room is so small. What the heck is this? Oh, it's to clean my blinds. Comment down below if you keep your old phones. I feel like I just can't get rid of it. Man. I'm not getting rid of that. I'm going to put it in the spare room and maybe it'll get more use. But yeah, I've just decided to, I guess, downgrade to like a minimalistic white framed mirror that will actually be on the wall so not leaning. Huge. Hello, you got it. Got it. Yes, you got it. Okay, help me, Sam. Hey, that side. Chow Chow's come to help me sort out my socks, haven't you, boy? I'll just quickly show you how I've been folding my socks. Apparently, this way that I'm about to fold flattens the sock more so they're not so like bulky. like that. So in this next box I've decided to keep my stockings, so mainly ballet stockings I guess, so that it looks nice and neat like that. These containers are honestly amazing. I can fit about 12 pairs of shorts in this one box. You just slide it in, slide it out and go, yep, need these shorts. Put it back and then it's like you never came in this room and took an item of clothing. It's mind blowing how easy this is and how I didn't do this before, like what? That top drawer is done. Organization saves time and stress. Just thought I'd do a bit of a, just thought I'd change it up a bit and change my tracksuit. Anyway, back to cleaning. Instead of jeans this season, I've worn lots of these comfy like flare pants. I'm just trying to locate them around my room right now so I can put them in this section. I am up to cleaning this bad boy out. 
Oh. That's what it looks like at the moment. There's no way of making that look good. Because they're so thick, how am I meant to store those? Pretty messy. Rather than me shoving everything in that one drawer and it all just being on top of each other, I'm gonna have little compartments for everything. Like so. By the way, this isn't my bed cover, it's just a blanket I put down for Charlie to go on so that he doesn't dirty my white blankets. Alrighty, another drawer done. I'm really annoyed at how long that took me, but you know what, it's done now. Okay, so that drawer doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, but it's convenient. Everything's got its spot and it, it just looks so much cleaner. And I can open my drawer because the remote's not like sticking out, you know? It's got its space. Done! You're the best company ever! So as you can see, I've got like my dark colored satin PJ sets at the back and then my favorite light colored ones at the front. And then if I do want to get to those back ones, I just simply take this out. Delivery. This is for you. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is all. Oh my gosh, hey, you know, we're meant to be not buying anything. Oh yeah, what are you doing bro? Although I love it. What's up? I missed you. What have you been doing? Finally come to the good set. Another draw done. This thing from Target has worked so well. These are really easy to pull out and in. And actually this drawer used to go into here and that was annoying I found. So I took it out and actually put it on top and that's allowed me to have this top area. So these are all my products that I use like every single day. So convenient. All my denim literally fit into this drawer perfectly. What are the odds? I love it. Crop hoodies and jackets. Done. Hello. <laughs> After all that folding, I need a break. Charlie, you want some? <laughs> oh, should I give him some this time? Okay guys, so I've just done my whole makeup drawer, like I've reorganized it, I've cleaned everything, cleaned all the brushes. We're actually doing a whole separate video on this, so if you're watching this, it's probably already up. If not, it's coming soon. My favorite part of cleaning anything is the dusting part because dusting to me is so satisfying. Don't come here. <laughs> Charlie, we're nearly done. We're so close. Guys, I like this is the best part. What else can I vacuum? I'm done. I actually can't believe I'm saying those words right now. This has taken a very, very long time, but I'm excited for you guys to see the transformation and how much more organized my room is. It's literally never been this organized and I'm really proud of it. So hope you enjoy my little tour.
a journey you've been on with us. I hope it's inspired you guys to maybe use this method for your drawers and your cupboards as well. We've even inspired our mum to do this method. Remember guys, we post every single week, so we'll see you guys next week. See ya! Bye bye!